me. Get on this gun turret. Folks, this has gone spy, the spy, and I apologize uh, that I couldn't be able to uh, get this thing up and running yesterday. I uh, tried to make that maneuver yesterday, but it messed up. So, as I said and a couple of months ago, um, we're going to be, I put together a couple of minds of some people I know with this game, and it's a very long campaign and it has conversations of dialogues that your character will not be will not be um, talking doing the talking but you'll be able to say sentences of during the dialogue of the words you choose so it's not going to be like the Dragon Age I mean it's not going to be like the Mass Effect where where a shepherd is say things when the dialogue, but it's going, but this is about suffice as good as it gets. So let's go in. So, since this is the new game, we're going to begin with a custom character and has three classes. And you can be able to choose whichever gender of a character that you'll be able to choose from, either be male or female. And it has three classes, as I already mentioned. The first class is being a scoundrel, and that is a skillful road that gets by with stealth and goal. And the second class is scout, and is to explore at most home on the fighters of space. And for the final third class is soldier. And, well, you've seen soldiers in action, so you use your imagination. So now I'm going to go choosing a class male soldier. Now quick character is going to be able to let you let the computer choose the custom location for your character for you. But I'm going to have to do this old school custom character allows you custom your own character. Portrait would mean would mean uh, switching any kinds of faces that you want your character to be. So it could be either one of these faces right here that you choose from by clicking A. So I'm going to be choosing this guy. Attributes is the the bonus or the pedos to everything of bow combat. This to scale the check forces. Powers and each attribute is what aspects game that can be affected in. So we're going to be having strength. And I'm going to be getting intelligence in. Recommended is that the computer is going to be able to let you. It's going to do the situation for you. So. Yeah. Just a uh, treat energy is that the increasable health of med packs or heal force abilities. Awareness is going to be able to aware of enemy stealth generators or spawn some objects. Or in demolitions is that you'd be able to disarm or to be able to arm a demolition of mines. And that's going to be experience of points of five, I think. Now as for feats, they're for techniques for either melee or for blaster fire. Special abilities for and I and for the feats and implants, heavy armor or any other kinds of feats that's going to be able to help you during the game. 
and some of these feeds are attack power, as I've already said, for melee of using swords or using blaster techniques. So these, so these armors are what's recommended for me at this level. So now I'll just go with toughness. And now we'll be uh, going uh, to choose a name. So I'm going to try to put my title name there. As a gonna spy. Alrighty, now that's pretty much it. How do you custom your character? So let's get this started. This game I uh, have is very old and it's probably sold as I am, so. Yep, it's going to begin with an introduction like that. Now, like most people uh, on this one, I'm going to be reading of what down on the yellow marker. Four thousand years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, also the Clone Wars, the Republic is on the verge of collapse. Darth Malak, the last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith arm. Mada upon the unsuspecting galaxy, crushing all resistance. Malak's very order of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights have fallen now, and many more swear allegiance to the Sith Master. Star Jedi's. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Terrus, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to hold the Sith's galactic domination. Mm, don't like this Darth Malak character. And this was way before the Clone Wars and the Galactic Empire, so yeah. This will be interesting. Seems the ship is taking badly damage from these Sith fighters. And there's me, my character. As I said, uh, choosing a sense for the dialogue in this conversation, so I'll choose this one. Who are you? I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic Fleet. I'm your bunkmate here in the Andar Spire. Oh, here's my bunkmate. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. I just met you. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Okay, um, who's Bastila? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Andar Spire. Well, not an officer, really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Mm, I've heard all enough. about your reputation, elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Where is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastila's gonna need men and women like us at her side during this attack. 
Okay, let's go help Bessla. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay, um, where can I get my equipment? Use the right thumbstick to control the camera, and the left thumbstick to move towards your footlocker. Press the A button to open your locker once it is targeted. Or you can pull the left and right triggers to cycle between targets until the footlocker is highlighted. Then press the A button to open it. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Okay, that must be my footlocker. Hmm. A sword. Blaster, med packs, and stun grenade. Alright, sword will be a ninis, blah blah blah. And click an A to equip any item. Get some claws, blaster. Alrighty. Hmm. Seems easy enough. Alright. Say this so that in case uh, something happens. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Ah, uh, party. That's right. We'll be able. I'll be able to have companions in this game. And in most areas, in the screen selection to quickly switch parties in and out when you need them. This is done instantly and without having to return to your base. Characters who have switched out your party will wait for you at your base. Remember, any equip items who remain on the characters so these items will not show up in your inventory when the characters remove from the party. You will have to add that character to your party again if you want to access their equip items. Okay. And I've been the number right there is I can only uh, bring party members with me of the limit of two. Shame. I wish it would have been four. Very well. Because of the attack, this, this room is in lockdown. lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay, how do I use to unlock the door? You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by pressing the black button. Press the black button now to switch me to the party leader, then use me to open the door. Simply target the door, then press the A button to open it. Oh, sounds easy enough. And that must have been the white button. Pause in the game and during the party, during the campaign. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Okay, thanks, Trusk. I thought as much. And experience points to be able to get enough experience to be able to level up to gain new power. Very cool. This is Cardinal Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! Who's that? That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spires crew put together. Hmm. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Okay, so I'll do use my journal. You can access your journal, map, and other important menus by pressing the Start button. You can then pull the left trigger to scroll through the menus listed on the tabs at the top of the screen. Okay, thank you. Mm, active quest. I'll check into that. And this must be my map. It shows where... Huh. Okay. This will take a while to get to the bridge. And these must be the messages from conversations I have from people. And this is the, the skill, the character list of the... Okay, yeah. And this must be the inventory for all the items that I got here. Okay. Hmm. A utility droid. Older versions from the ones before the Clone Wars and the Galactic Empire. Alrighty. I'm going to get this door That door is locked. I don't have the codes to open. But switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. How do I use your security on the door? Target the door using the thumbsticks or the triggers. When the targeting circle is focused on the door, you'll see that the icons in the action menu at the bottom left of the screen have changed. 
Use the directional pad to cycle through the action until security is highlighted. Then press the A button. Remember, the security icon only appears if you're controlling a character with the security skill. Okay, tell me more about the action menu. In the lower left of the screen, you'll see a list of icons. This is your action menu. You can cycle left and right through these icons at any time using the directional pad. The icons in your action menu will change depending on whether your targeting circle is on a door, a container, a friendly creature, or an enemy. Press the A button to activate a highlighted icon. Okay, I understand. Go on. The icon on the far left is always the default action for the target. Open for doors or containers, dialogue for friends, and attack for enemies. The second icon shows your feats and skills. The fourth icon is for offensive items like grenades. The icon on the far right shows defensive items like med packs, and the fifth shows defensive force powers like heal. The third icon is offensive force powers like choke and lightning. Okay, let's move on. I'm asking him these questions so that you'll be able to get a clearer view. So we'll get a clearer view on the game. All right, so this must be the scary, the scary thing. And those armor soldiers are going up against one. It must be the Sith soldiers. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. And for the innocents, let's do this. Now for 10 days for blasters, is power blaster, repeated, or snipe range? Alrighty. Injured right now. More enemy contacts. Oh boy. Um, okay, tracks. Um, switching weapon to sword. Trask. Alrighty. Credits and a grenade. Very interesting. These will definitely help. Ah, and triggers. And more credits in the pack. Very good. And swords and grenades. And a combat suit. We'll see what I can do about that for later. Looks like a firefight going on. Okay, let's take out these SOBs. Not the only ones who use grenades, stupid soldiers. All right, moving on. More contacts. Get to that later. Was that my imagination, or was that lightsabers clashing? I got a bad feeling about this. Let's move on. 
Yeah, definitely her lightsaber surprised her both who was bound them. It's a dark Jedi. And a good Jedi. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Nice. Oh no! That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastion. Damn, we could have used her help. This would have been problematic without her help. So, I'll be right back, guys. Just dealing with that person at the door. Alright. Vibration, so in a adrenaline strength. Could be helpful. Let's go. This must be a door to the bridge. The bridge is just beyond that door. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should equip a melee weapon, too. Hmm. Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. Okay, but what if they have lightsabers? Your melee weapon is made using a cortosis weed. Really? It's strong enough to stand up against anything, even a lightsaber. We'll be fighting in close quarters on the bridge. You better equip a melee weapon before we go through that door. Okay. I did what the man says. Alrighty. Okay, set bastards. Let's on the arm. Bastard is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Indar Spire into galactic dust. I have a feeling that this Bastila character is a Jedi, but even so, I still wonder why the Sith will even want a Jedi, especially one. I understand it wanted to turn to the dark side, but why Bastila in particular is what I'm going to be wondering. Okay, recommended what computer would suggest. This one. And a backpack with blaster. Okay. That would have caused some injuries. Awesome view of that client, but we're going to need to make sure that we don't get blow the bids to Kingdom Come. Chess, what's up? There's something behind here. What? Another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! No, Trash. Don't do it. No! Trash, get back out there. Damn it. You didn't have to do this, Trash. Make sure your sacrifice wasn't in vain. Gotta get to the escape pods and probably and hopefully find the Bastila in that carved character. This is Karth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Bastila's escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Ender Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. All right. Okay. There seemed to be one lone Sith soldier, but I can take him. Nice. Alright, I 
film there's no squad of civil soldiers here. And right on the money. be that part for the droid, repairing the droids, and the computer spikes. Must be for terminal systems to, um, to lock, hack into security systems and such. Alright, I'll go with the droid. And the shield droids, yes. Engaging in the patrol droid, yes. That's pretty much empty of my repair parts. Hopefully this will be enough. Ibikaye, Sith Freaks. <laughs> that joys really did tear them up. See if there's anything among them. All right, a pro prototype of fiber blade would have been useful. All righty. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Just a sec. Who are you? I'm a soldier with the Republic. We're the last two crew members left in the Empire Spire. Basilis escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Alright, as soon as we're safe on the planet below, you're going to need to ask some of my questions first. Alright, this seems to be the last escape pod, as you said. My only last five will hope. Let's use it. How the Sith find this ship out in the middle of nowhere is a mystery. Would see a ship like that to go down? Huh. Must have been knocked out real hard. Must be having some dream. Battle between two Jedi? Well, who was that person? I, 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 hmm, a vision? Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. You could say that. I'm wondering if you're ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Right, I'm as gone as spy, by the way. How do we get here? We've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry, we're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. You banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. The Sith? Mm. Well, I guess I owe you my life. Thank you. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, but I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. That sucks. But I've been to more spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. Huh. That's pretty rare. Yes, I do. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. 
There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. But if she is, why is it so important to find this Bastila? That smacked your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Really? Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war ever. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire and set an ambush for us in the system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here on Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. But how could one person, even a Jedi, be so important? Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. What's that? Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Huh. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often Quite that's impressive. All the in the of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. If Bastila is a Jedi, she could probably look after herself. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us. And if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So. If Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. Still, even if what you say is true, and yet, where should we even start looking for Basilon? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basilon any good if we go in. Get ourselves killed. And we're going to ask you some more questions first. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it be. For starters, what do you know about Malik and the Sith? Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malik became the new Darth Lord. It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who will crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malik and Insid don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Wait a second, those two used to be Jedi Knights? What do you mean? Malik and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi's brothers. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Don't worry, we'll find a way to stop the Sith Carf. But the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with their support of the Jedi Council. I think Basil may be the galaxy's last hope. What else can you tell me about this planet we're on? Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. That was a long time ago. The upper city, where the rich citizens live, is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swooped by gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the Undercity is nothing worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls. Mindless, diseased uh, mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad, Jer. Okay, but I'd like to know some more about you, Carf, if we're going to be working together. I understand why you want to know more about me. I I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. 
But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Okay then, the sooner that we start looking for Bessela, the sooner that we find her. Let's go. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. A same. There's some stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. Hmm. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Huh. But I figure That's if we don't brutal. do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're looking for Bessela. A couple of like us. Alright, soldier, let's move out. Alright. So that's pretty much a done deal of what's going to be happening so far, people. So hoping hopefully you be liking this game movie so far. And there's say this just in case. Alright. Moving onward. A locker. Carve's not wrong in this. I may uh, search any stores that, to get some supplies. Anything and good equipment, it wouldn't hurt. And what? A workbench. Huh. Interesting. This play this is the workbench upgrades weapons and armor and lightsabers even to become even stronger versions. But it has to work with upgrading items. So let's see uh, what we can construct here. Uh, men light? And that's for that prototype fiber blade. <laughs> I knew something useful for that uh, vibration cell. Now this prototype is even stronger than it was before. However, it's not going to be infinite well for my taste, so uh, we're going to have to find someone else with it. Yeah, every time I'm going to need to be living in a spaceship, a base, or apartment, I'll need to take a party, never, party member with me. And since this is my first time, I'll have to take Carf. Which I will anyway. Carf's a soldier. Yeah, and that selection used to belong to Trask. He was a temporary member anyway. I only met the bung man of mine a few minutes later, and he's already dead. We're going to have to continue the work for him. Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up Whoa, against what? the wall. This is a raid. What's going on here? Okay, that's crossed the line big time, pal. That's how we said deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my Oh my god, this guy is such an asshole. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives. Attack! And you're the asshole that wishes to buffer instant aliens? And you deserve a grenade in your name? So it's cool, yeah, I understand these aliens languages quite well. I'm just glad I could help. That is actually a good idea. Thanks. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't save your friend. And it looks like I level up again. Oh, let's see here. Another 
one. Okay. Another blaster and a poison grenade. Interesting. Hmm. Lock. I think I could bash this, but I'm going to uh, use a blade or something. Piece of shit. Open. Uh, thank God. Alrighty. Better switch something now for Carve's liking. An Iron Blaster will work for him. Sorry, I'm, I was just investigating. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Alden. Alden? Who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Maybe you, you can trust me? I can help you? No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. Alright. I'll come and ask you later about your problem. Good. I don't much like strangers in my home. Trust me, I don't like strangers in homes either. Alrighty. Let's move on. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Larum. My name is Haskana Spine. And she shields. And it's high tech. What's so great about these energy shields? Protects even against lightsabers. That must have been that energy shield that was around the droid I just operated back in the Endar Spire. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Yeah, but where does this technology even come from? Did Chani use the shields like that? <laughs> Interesting. But there are some shields that can even resist even the melee weapons. I better see if I can get these energy shields. Anything else? Ching Balamule, Tonking Ba 
のの大In the mission war taken, does so fall to life and death situations. You mentioned something about illegal aliens living here. Aren't you worried? Um. Anyway, why don't you? Aren't you worried about getting caught? Yeah, let me see what you got for sale. Hmm. Quite a great deal you got here. Wish I could buy those shields right now. I'll sell some things. Don't need you, don't need you. I don't need a blaster around here, so... Okay, battle armor or a new blade. New blade. Alrighty, that's pretty much it for now. And my pack, just in case. Now to test out my new blade. I got some. other rooms that got some bashing needs to be done, so let's hold them. Alrighty. Alrighty. That's a nice looking sword. stuff here. More tree looks here too. Let's press the next song. Uh, and that's pretty much about the apartments here, so I'm switching back to blaster rifle. Now let's go do some exploring to see what we can stir up here. Check it out. Hmm. I 
is actually quite interesting. Ah, there's the escape pod. Huh. If there's anything that was left to salvage, the Sith must have or confiscated. It doesn't look like that much destruction. Alrighty, let's move on. Hmm. Something's been, something seems to be bothering Carf. I better be asking him. Yes, what's on your mind? I'd like to know some more about you, Carve. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than I should have wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. Really? But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these sick animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing the Republic forces could do to stop it. I'm sorry, Carve. That must have been very painful for you. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... It doesn't seem like doing that means I failed. I, I didn't. I'm sorry, Carve. I didn't mean to upset you or get you mad. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I must not be making much sense. Well, you probably to be mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. Huh? I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Alright. If we're going to be working together to find Basla and traveling together, we need to get to know each other and to be able to work together. Another store. More like an armory of sorts. I'm always there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kevlar Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. I'd like to ask you some questions, actually. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? What do you... Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed here on Terrace? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or the Dabix men got there first. Swoop Gangs? What can you tell me about them? I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker gang, the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Dabbik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Who is this Dabbik character? What do you know about Dabbik? Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slave, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm -hmm. I've heard of the Exchange. That organization across. If anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay him a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from. But Davik's nothing but a crime lord. Careful when you say that. Davik's got spies and agents everywhere. Besides, he's as much a part of terrorists as the skyscrapers or the swoop gangs. But is Davik working with the Sith? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real bend in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. Davik stays out of the way. And the Sith don't bother him. The Swoop Gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement instead of always going after each other. Thanks for the questions, but i am got a few more, actually. Um, I was wondering, how do you feel about the Sith? Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. They're killing my business. 
I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. I understand. I just need some general information on Terrors. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come I to am. Terrors for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrors isn't so bad. As long as you stay in the upper city, just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. I'll be going now. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. I actually do need something from your store. Welcome to the... I actually do need something from your store. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. I understand. This one. Hmm. That armor looks pretty good. I bet it works real nice with Carf, but unfortunately I still don't have the credits. And another battle armor. And that's a nice looking spear. And it's a Chani Ritual brand. Alrighty. Huh. A premature detonator. I bet I'll be find some use in the long run. That's pretty much it for now. <sighs> well, obviously, we're going to need some credits in some way to be able to get by in here, so... Hmm. The cantina. Usually, a cantina is contain some uh, informative information for situations of what we're looking for. Yeah, that's definitely the cantina entrance. Don't bother me, I'm here on official Sith business. Well, excuse me, dirtbag. bag. <sighs> Alrighty. Alright folks, this is where we're going to put a stop here. So, uh, we'll be right back for after these messages.